Just a reminder guys, if you really want to see what it's like day trading a small account, make sure you join us right here on YouTube every weekday morning starting at 8.45 a.m. market time. I review what's moving in pre-market first and then I day trade my small accounts live on stream. The stream also includes a 100% free day trading chat room, so don't forget to hit the subscribe button guys. And with all that being said, here's my watch list for tomorrow, June 21st. Okay, so the first one I'm watching for tomorrow is FORD. You can see this one had a pretty crazy day today. It was halted at least once and it moved all the way up to 274 during market hours. It's sitting at 221 which is about break even from where it closed at 220. But the point I'm looking to get in going short is around this $2 level right here. If it does look weak and break underneath that, I'll set a price target of around 185 or 175 down here, but it could very easily rebound, especially if it breaks this 250 resistance. And so we'll see which way this one goes in the market tomorrow, and for all those reasons, I'm definitely going to be watching this one at the open. Okay, so the next one I'm watching is NAKD. And this one had merger news and gapped up a huge amount this morning all the way up to about $8 during pre-market. It eventually ran up to $11.36 and it's sitting just above that $8 support right now at $8.20. If this one does end up holding support at $8 and start to push up, I'll consider it for a long play up to about $10. But if it does wash under $8, I'll consider it for a short play as well, maybe down to $7. And so we'll see which way this one goes, and for all those reasons, I'm definitely going to be watching this one at the open. Okay, so the next one I'm watching is NEPT, and if you haven't figured it out already, I'm usually pretty short biased with these overextended stocks. This one has almost doubled in the last few days, and so I'm looking for it to break underneath the VWAP area and for that point to turn into resistance. If it does do that, I'll consider a short down to either 360 or the lows of today at 335. If it does push up and break this 464 point, I'll consider it for a long play as well, maybe up to 475 or even $5. And so we'll see which way this one goes as well, and for all those reasons, I'm definitely going to be watching this one at the open. Okay, so the last one on my list for tomorrow is CLPS. And you can see by the 5 minute chart, this one's had a really nice run in the last week. A few days ago, it was right around $5, and now it's at $15.50 so far in after hours. At the same time, it looks pretty weak in after hours so far, dropping down to $15.50 from $17.80 at its highs. And so I'm actually looking for this one to potentially reverse. If it drops under 15, I'll consider a short down to either 14 or 13 right here, but I do want to see it break underneath the VWAP. If it does somehow reverse and start to push back up at 1780 and break that, I'll consider it for a long play as well, but I'm going to be very careful with this one just because it's up so much already. And so we'll see which way this one goes as well, and for all those reasons, I'm definitely going to be watching this one tomorrow. With all that being said, that's the end of my watch list for tomorrow, June 21st. If you haven't already, make sure you join us every weekday morning starting at 8.45 a.m. right here on YouTube. I review what's moving in pre-market first, and then I day trade my small accounts live on stream. And so don't forget to hit the subscribe button, guys. And with all that being said, good luck in the market, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.